Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a bargain hunt haul for you. So I went to Ollie's and I went to Gates and I will tell you which one is which. First of all, I've got my Black Dagger Brotherhood cup and those of you who are fans of J.R. Ward's books, like me, my niece got me this for Christmas. And also I got a ticket to go see her talk in April and I'm super excited down in Cincinnati. Um, but at first I would like to take a moment to thank you all who are able to support my niece Sarah in her Etsy store. Gosh, I really appreciate it. And she gets such a kick out of it when you tell her that you found her through my through my channel. And for you, those who don't know, my niece, Sarah, she is a high school English teacher. She has an Etsy store and it's a blind date in a box is what it is. So she picks a book for you. You answer some questions. I haven't been on the site to see how it works, but you answer some questions, you go back and forth, and then she picks a book, sends it to you with some goodies in the box and it's a surprise. So it's like a blind date for you. Um, and she has a lot of fun putting those together and I have a lot of fun watching her. So thank you for those who are able to help her and to support her little Etsy store. All right, let's put the coffee down here. Do you want to say hello? He said, no, I don't. Don't get grabby with me, lady. Don't get grabby. That's Mr. Wellington. Okay. He doesn't like you when I do that. I won't do it again, I'm sorry. I will do it again. He's cute. Okay, so Ollie's. Ollie's is a store. Um, I know they're throughout the US. Oh, now you're back. Um, it's like a big lots used to be, if you have odd lots, Christmas tree shops used to be. It's a, they, but they purchase buyouts from larger companies. Fun fact, when I was in there today, I saw many items that I have recently been finding at the Dollar Tree. Now, they're like $1.29, these items at Ollie's, which does pair with the $1.25 at most Dollar Trees. But I found it very interesting that I was seeing a lot of the same, and I mean like the same products. Like that brown rice that's um, microwave, they had it for $1.29. That's just, you know, an example off the top of my head. Now, they're... Um, drink mixes are still 99 cents. I digress. Anyway, so I just found it very fascinating to see that there's a lot of very similar items. Oh, like all the cereal that we've been getting, they had it as well. Just want to throw that out there. So I was on the, the hunt for some things. So I drove up to Sarah. So again, my niece Sarah, she lives about 45 minutes from me, approximately. So I drove up there because that's the better of the Gabes and there's an Ollie's right there in her town. So we did both. So what did you buy? Stop blabbing. I bought a humidifier. It's not a big one as you can see, but my house is so dry. I'm battling static, dry skin, dry hair. So she's like, get a humidifier. So this is a cool mist humidifier. I have this one for downstairs. So that'll be going here. And I think I have one in the garage that I'm gonna put upstairs to try to get some moisture into this house because it's very dry. My hair has been staticky. This sweater took two or three sprays with the static guard stuff that I made. So this was regularly $27.99. Uh, I got it for $17.99, which I didn't think was a bad deal. Um, it's it's kind of nice. This right here turns. I have it on over there, so I keep looking. This turns so you can direct your mist, and this is your, you just carry it to the sink and back. And then this is on and off, but there's definitely highs and lows. And it should go for about 18 hours, and it will um, shut off automatically. This is, this is for a small room. I don't think this is overly large, so I just have it down here. It may end up in my bedroom or my office. We'll see. So I grabbed that. Um, I get my coffee there a lot of times. So this is a 12 pack of hazelnut. The brand is Java Gold, $3.99, which is a good deal. Medium roast hazelnut coffee and you get 12 K cups. 
I typically use a reusable K cup, like I put ground coffee, but sometimes if I'm in a rush or feeling lazy, I just like to have some K cups on hand and $3.99 is not a bad deal. And I believe those are recyclable. Recyclable. I gotta scan my receipt. I don't know if I told you, but I already cashed in my first $25 from Fetch. Um, that's an app. The link is in my bio. I think they're giving two or 4,000 points right now if you sign up and scan your first receipt. You have to scan a receipt to get the points, um, but I'm saving that for Christmas. So, gotta keep that. Um, I'm out of cinnamon. This was 97 cents. And I don't know what, I think Dollar Tree carries this as well, this brand or a similar brand, but it's just ground cinnamon. Nothing too exciting, but I like cinnamon. Oh, oh, Tazo. I love Tazo tea. Tazo, Tazo. This used to be Starbucks. And then I think it, then I think they sold Tazo and bought Tivana. Put that down, please. Something like that. But this is, Tazo is good tea. It is a black tea, which is my preferred. It has oolong, green tea, and hints of peach. It's joy. So I think it's their Christmas. But to me, I don't care. I like tea. I drink it all the time. I drink a lot of tea. So, and this was $1.99, regularly $3.49. And sometimes I paid $3.99. So I thought that was a fantastic deal. And you know, we don't always have to shop the Dollar Tree, right? Because... We need deals in our lives, guys. Ugh, I'm trying to get stuff out of the bag. Um, I grabbed some pistachios. I know they have these at the Dollar Tree as well, but these were salt and vinegar, which I love, and there's no shell involved. So you get a lot more in here, and it's $2.29. And this is wonderful, wonderful brand. No shell, sea salt and vinegar. They had barbecue too. But I like nuts on occasion, and having these on hand is always good for my snacking. And I did buy some Kool-Aid brand zero sugar cherry. I love cherry flavor, guys. It says regularly $1.59. I'm not sure where it's ever $1.59, but I don't know. And you only get six packets. They had a huge bag of the Crystal Light for $1.99. And I mean, I think there was like 30 packets, but it was tea and lemon. I don't care for that, so I didn't buy it. And I'm trying to drink up these, the ones I bought last summer. I'm almost done with, but it was cherry. So I just got the one um, for my brother. He has been on the hunt. He is moving. So my brother, I have three, I have four brothers. One passed away when we were children. One lives in Massachusetts, two live here. I know it's confusing, but Sarah's dad, the air freshener guy, we were out the other day. He's moving soon and was, um, at, we were looking for zero sugar sweet tea. So this is peak tea. It's sweetened with, I don't even know, uh, aspartame. Okay. So it's sweetened with aspartame. So it tastes like sweet tea, but it's, not it's our you know zero sugar anyway he was looking for it and i found some so i got it for him because walmart didn't have it i don't i've never had it so i can't tell you if it's good or not and then the last thing i got at ollie's was one of these and i know that the everybody okay not everybody but your young people like to carry these around i'm gonna put it on my desk i need to drink more water so sarah got a bigger one this one is uh, 70 ounces. This holds 70 ounces. So if I fill this up with water and I drink it um, every day, that's how much water my doctor says I'm supposed to have. Oxford, she wants me to drink 100 ounces, but we'll start with 70. Sarah got the same one, but it's a gallon. I said, well, you, good luck, girl. Good luck with you and your bladder. But I know I'd be up all night. I'm old. So we're gonna drink these, and I'm only putting water in it, no crystal light or anything, and it is a straw, so you don't have to like tip it, because I would probably end up pouring it all over myself, but just water, and we have to drink one of these a day. I know it's January, everybody's trying to drink more water, but if this helps, and I thought it was pretty, and this was $7.99, regularly $14.99 it says, and again, I don't know where the regular is, but, um, I like that it has the carry thing, but I like it even better that it has this. 
that I can hold it and you lift up the lid and the straw pops out and it snaps. So if it gets knocked over, so I grab that at Ollie's. So that was everything I purchased and I spent a total of $38.17 at Ollie's. Then we went to Gabe's and it's just like it's spelled. G-A-B-E-S, Gabe's. This is another store, very much like Ollie's. They buy closeouts. I have not really seen a lot of things that I could find at the Dollar Tree at Gabe's like I did at Ollie's today, but I'm sure it just depends. I don't go frequently because it's not close to me. But I found, actually Sarah found these for me. Um, these are barbecue pork rinds. Epic brand is a great brand. It's very clean brand, meaning the ingredients are very basic. Uh, less than a gram, a carb. I like pork rinds. What are you doing, Alex? Oh, he's playing with one of his toys. Um, and this bag has two and a half ounces and it's barbecue flavor. So I grabbed one of those because you, you do. Oh, for the, I think there's two of them here. Well, I grabbed compression socks. So they sell a lot of these. I needed the black, so I work part-time at the uh, university. So I work at the football stadium and I work at the basketball stadium doing different events, concerts, basketball, football, hockey, women's basketball. I have found that when I wear the compression socks, my legs feel, they feel so much better. So I got two pair for $6.99. I usually just wear them for that. I liked this brand. I had another pair, but I like this brand uh, because it looks a little larger in the calf. I have a little larger calf. And these are a little longer than the other brand I bought, which were too short. Not the candy cane ones. Those worked out fine, but I can't be wearing candy canes. I'm supposed to wear black socks. So I got them for the black. This is the only package they had. I can still, if my pants are long enough and for football, I can get away with burgundy, but for at the stadium, I can get away with a little more because I am walking eight to 10 miles every football game at the university for the, at the um, basketball arena. We really have to stick with our black. So that's fine. I was on the hunt just for some more of these to have. The season is winding down right now, but um, we got our football schedule already and I will be working the first five Saturdays of football season are at home this year for the Buckeyes. So I was on the hunt. This is part of the reason I went. I wanted to go to Gabe's today. And then I got at Gabe's for my kitchen sink. So really what I wanted was the metal one that hooks over the center, but the only ones that they had in the metal were uh, suction cup and I have not heard good reviews. So I grabbed this one that hangs over, this kind of bends. I just wanted to hold my sponge. So my sponge is not getting all nasty. So this will hang over the faucet into the sink and I can just sit my sponge and it will drip into the sink and not all over the counter, which drives me nuts. This was $4.99. And it says regularly $8.99. I did see them on, um, well, the one I was going to get on Amazon, which had a metal thing that laid over and then it hung down here, was like $12. So I'm like, let's try this first. I don't think it's a problem. So we're going to try that in the kitchen. Because, again, I'm tired of, I'm tired of my kitchen. Um, I grabbed these Lickables Beef Eaters brand. Um, you get three, and they're the cat puree treats. Wellington will try it on occasion. He's not a huge fan of these, but Alex loves them. And it was a three-pack for 99 cents, so I grabbed two just to have. It's a special little treat, especially for Alex, um, who really likes them. But sometimes, sometimes Wellington will also have a little bit of them. Uh, for the boys, so I always try to, uh, the good thing about Ollie's and Gabe's is they're, when they have the pet stuff that me meets my cat's needs, it's very reasonably priced. So, um, like I said, you get three in each. I just paid $2.99 for, I think, five or six, so not a bad deal. And those are chicken. 
I even bought Wellington the Temptations ones. <laughs> he still wouldn't eat them. He's just so funny. Um, okay, this is, these are the jeans brand. They are technically jeans, but I need black pants to wear when I work at the stadium. And when I work at, ooh, that smells like dye. When I work at the stadium or the university, I need black pants. I can technically, I can get away with wearing these. I love this brand. I'm an apple shape. If you're an apple shape, meaning you're bigger in the middle than the legs, look at this stretch. It's an always stretch and they're denim jeans. They have, you know, the pockets in the back. The two, this one has two buttons in the front, a zip. I think it's a fake front pocket. It is, but that's fine. I need black pants. I think this is my size in these. I don't know. We'll find out, but they were $16.99. Um, I typically buy this brand at Marshalls and TJ Maxx, and it's recycled denim. These are high waist ankle cut, which is what I need because I have short legs, but a, a long waist. So these will fit lengthwise. I don't have to worry. And there's also a nice stretch in the waist. So these should fit fine. And I needed a fresh pair. My other pair of this exact pants that I had, and I think I paid the same, maybe $19.99 at Marshall's. Question, oh, sorry, I keep kicking the tripod. Either $16 or $19.99 at Marshall's. So equivalent in price, but they had them. And my, uh, I was going to say my other pair of these exact pants that I have, I got bleach on them. So I need to let them go. I could try dyeing them, but it just seems like work. And they're wearing down. Okay. I sure did buy elastic waisted jeans because doesn't that just sound fantastic? I'm going to not lie and tell you it sounds fantastic. Um, they're great. They're mom jeans, but <laughs> look at the bottoms. They're like cool. They're torn. They have staining and fray. I mean, I love these pants. I wanted some wider legged. They're really thin, so I won't have a lot of like issue. And these also have a two-way stretch to them. And quite frankly, I don't tuck shirts in, so you're never going to see the waistband. I'm assuming these are a jegging, which is more like a jean legging, although there's a back pocket, so I don't know. But I like the jeans. These are, the brand is Hue, H-U-E, no idea, ultra soft denim. They're calling them a skimmer whatever that is. Uh, a one X one. These are regularly $42. The manufacturer pricing on these are $42. Um, I just paid seven for them. And again, I like that. I think the length is going to be good for me. If they're a little long, honestly, I can cut them off because the bottom is frayed denim, which I really like, but I also like the stretch to them. This is more of a two-way stretch, a one-way stretch. I'm sorry, it doesn't have too, too much of a vertical stretch. That's fine. But if I have to put pants on, come on, guys, I want them to be like leggings. So I grabbed these. We'll see if they fit. I didn't try them on in store, uh, but they were $7. So I'm not too concerned if they don't fit. I can donate them or take them back because I have my somewhere. I think it's in my purse, my receipt to Gabe's. So that is everything I got today when I went shopping with Sarah. I needed some of these items. I got some things I didn't know I needed. My water bottle. I know, crazy. All right, that is it. Again, thank you all for your love and support. Um, if you want to look into Sarah's Etsy store, there's a link in the bio below. Same thing for Fetch, same thing for Ibotta. I am all about the side hustle right now, trying to collect some money for vacation and I think I need a new air conditioner this summer. I know. All right, everybody, you have a fantastic day and I will talk with you later. Bye.